welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss how to manage external dependencies in Maven. Yeah, so let's try to understand. Uh, all, first of all, we need to understand a few key points uh, where uh, Maven, uh, Maven is able to download the, all the required dependencies from the central or remote repository. And there are some of the scenario where Maven uh, will not get the uh, required dependent dependency on um, Maven central or remote repository then we need to uh, basically explicitly we have to uh, specify those kind of uh, dependency in pom.xml right so here a uh, key point is that all the basic list of dependencies in Maven is handled by the Maven central repository at which a project downloads the required dependency right so most of the dependency of uh, we uh, Maven basically downloads from the central repository right now there will be a certain scenario at which some particular dependencies may not be available uh, in the maven remote or central repository right uh, maven is still answer uh, this scenario by providing feature of external dependency management right now in maven uh, any external dependencies can be easily configurable as other dependencies in the form.xml file yeah so let's try to understand through an example. So here you can see, uh, let's say your project is dep uh, dependent on some other jar, jar files, which is going to generate by some other application, right? Uh, then there is possibility that jar is not available on Maven uh, central repository, right? Then how we are going to handle those kind of dependencies in our project? So for that, first of all, you need to create a folder with the leaves or any name you can give in Maven uh project right first step that is the one now you have to download uh, your jar here for example i have taken kkjava.jar and you need to put inside the folder which you have created uh, within your maven project right so in this case just let's assume i have created a folder is called leaves uh, inside my uh, project right and uh, we need to keep those jars uh, either you can copy it manually or you can automate it better to automate it and dump those jars into the leaf, leaves folder right now you have to open the uh, pom.xml in your project and add new dependency uh, what i have shown in the uh, slide right so here you can see here i have added an external dependency here you can see so you have of course inside the dependencies you need to tag you need to add a dependency tag and there you can specify a group id same as the jar name and you need to specify the artifact id that is same as the jar name again and you need to specify the scope as system that's the very important now there also you can specify the version and uh, you need to uh, specify relative path of your jar right uh, in your project location so here you can see relative path of my jar is project base directory then in, within that i have folder is called leaves and within that my jar is available right so that's the way basically you can specify your external dependency in your pom.xml. Let's try to understand through an example. So here you can see I have a project first demo project and my this uh, Maven project depends on the external jar is called KK Java of uh, uh, hyphen 1.0 jar, right? So here you can see how I have specified this dependency, right? This is the dependency for JUnit, which easily can be downloaded from the Maven central repository, but this is the my own jar right so here you have to write a uh, group id artifact id in similar fashion uh, you can specify the uh, you have to specify the scope as system right and version you can specify here you can see system path i have specified uh, my base directory project base directory then leaves so inside the my project i have a folder is called leaves and there i have copied my jars right so this is the way to specify uh, our uh, basically uh, uh, our custom jar right uh, with the system as a scope right now let's right click on this project and try to come let's compile and let's say whether my project is able to compile or not right so i go to the build section and here i'm going to write a uh, maven goal as compiled right so let's see my project is able to compile or not here you can see build is successful but here i can see some a uh, warning kind of warning saying that dependencies dot dependency dot system path for kk java jar uh, should not point 
uh, should not point at files within the project directory, right? That is the just a warning. It's not an error, right? Even though if I run another goals in the Maven like package, so I go to the uh, run as and build and here if I run the another uh, goal uh, package, right? So this will basically uh, uh, generate a new package, means uh, executable jar, right? And previous, uh, all the previous goals uh, uh, will be executed and finally package will be executed. So this will generate a executable jar uh, in the target directory. So if I run, then here you see all the test cases will be executed, source code will be compiled and finally you can see the build is success. But still this warning is coming. This is not an error. If there, there would be any error, then a project will not be uh, built successfully, right? So guys, that's the way you can uh, handle uh, external dependency in the Maven. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video tutorial, guys. Guys, big thank you for watching this video. And uh, I would like to request you to please go ahead and subscribe my channel, KK Java Tutorials. And thank you so much for watching this video.